Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to French President Emmanuel Macron, marking the victory of the French national team in the 2018 World Cup finals, which ended in Russia yesterday evening. His Majesty the King expressed his sincere congratulations and praised the outstanding performance of the French national team, wishing them success in upcoming championships and competitions. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Russian President Vladimir Putin on the success of his country in organizing the 2018 World Cup. His Majesty the King praised the great efforts exerted by Russia for the success of the World Cup, which contributed to achieving its noble and desired goals. His Majesty wished the Russian President continued success and the Russian people further progress and developments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to French President Emmanuel Macron, marking the victory of the French national team in the 2018 World Cup Finals, which ended in Russia yesterday evening. He expressed his sincere congratulations, hailing the outstanding performance of the French national team. The Prime Minister also sent a similar cable to French Prime Minister Edouard Philippe. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to Russian President Vladimir Putin on Russia's successful organization of the 2018 World Cup. His Royal Highness praised the great efforts exerted by Russia for the success of the World Cup, which contributed to achieving its noble and desired goals. He wished the Russian President for the success and the Russian people development and progress. The Prime Minister sent a similar cable to Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabi Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and for his Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has renewed a number of initiatives that enhance the economic development march and support financial stability. They affirm the government's keenness on adopting plans and strategies that enhance economic growth and increase non-oil revenues that ensure the stability of the financial situation. The Royal Highness has asserted the government's keenness on continuing the march of advancements and overcoming economic challenges. They reviewed a number of ideas and visions that serve the economic sector and speed up its development in addressing various regional and international challenges. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in Ghibliya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up the procedures taken to devise a plan following the directives of His Royal Highness to amend the medication stock system in Salmonia Medical Complex and Health Centers. The Minister of Finance and the Minister of Health presented the plan, which will be carried out in short and medium-term phases. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to allocate 15 million Bahraini dinars for the direct and immediate purchase of 650 types of medicines to prevent any shortage for four months as part of the short phase. Specialized expertise will be used to manage logistics operations for the purchase, storage and distribution of medicines in accordance with best practices to improve medicine stock management. 
the cabinet suggested ways to optimize the use of treated water as well as the establishment of a national network to transfer it. The cabinet followed up on the projects that will be implemented and those that are being implemented in the sectors of roads, sewage and buildings through 69 tenders under implementation worth 138 million dinars, 37 tenders worth 50 million dinars and 24 tenders worth 32 million dinars, the most important of which is implementing the first phase Mharag Ring Road which links Diyar Mharag with Ibsaytin at the cost of 7 million dinars, the development of Halad Bumahar at the cost of 1.5 million dinars, the establishment of a long-term care center for the Ministry of Health in Mharag at a cost of 11.5 million dinars and the development of roads in Sinovis at the cost of 3 million dinars. The cabinet approved two memorandums of understanding between Bahrain and France, the first on security cooperation and coordination in combating terrorism and its financing, and the second between the Higher Education Council in the Kingdom and the French Ministry of Higher Education, Research and Innovation to develop academic bilateral relations. The cabinet approved a memorandum of understanding between the Supreme Council for Environment of Bahrain and the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs of the, of the United Kingdom to build a center for environment, fisheries and aquaculture sciences. The MOU aims at strengthening cooperation between the two sides in marine science, marine environment monitoring, biodiversity and pollution. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives Council two draft laws, the first concerning the care, rehabilitation and employment of people with disabilities and the second concerning the amendment of the Penal Code issued under Law 15 of 1976. The statement of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was included in the first voluntary national report for the Kingdom on the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 that was reviewed today in the High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development that is held under the patronage of the UN Economic and Social Council. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom possesses a rich experience in development with its various dimensions which enabled it to keep up with the global advancement movement in sustainable development. He stated that Bahrain was pioneering in the field through development strategies and government programs prior to the beginning of the international movement in the field of sustainable development. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom's submission of its first voluntary national report to the high-level political forum affirmed its elective role in the formulating and achieving this goal on the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness stressed that Bahrain has successfully achieved the Millennium Development Goals prior to its deadline in 2015, highlighting the model it represents today in mobilizing and channeling available resources to achieve the aspirations of its people. He added that Bahrain is pioneering in providing free education, eradicating illiteracy, empowering women and equalizing opportunities between genders. His Royal Highness stated that the consecutive government work programs included everyone and balanced between all social, economic and environmental aspects in the present and the future. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom is keen on developing the living standards of its citizens. He added that such initiatives embody a global challenge that the UN is keen on including in the efforts to maintain peace and cooperation between countries. His Royal Highness asserted that this international forum is an opportunity to highlight the Kingdom's achievements and success stories. He highlighted the Kingdom's keenness on taking part in world challenges. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghraibiya Palace today an academic delegation from the Kingdom of Thailand led by the Vice President of Prince of Songla University, Jatma Satsuk. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister welcomed the visit of the Thai delegation, which reflects the strong ties between the two friendly countries in all fields. His Royal Highness affirmed that the close relations of cooperation between Bahrain and Thailand are constantly developing in various areas, hitting the joint coordination and understanding between the two kingdoms. He highlighted the importance of strengthening cooperation between the two countries in the fields of education and health through increasing mutual visits and joint meetings that will contribute to the exchange of expertise between the two sides. 
He also praised the distinguished level of educational programs in Thai universities and called for strengthening academic cooperation between universities in both countries to achieve further development. For his part, the Vice President issued sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his important role in reinforcing Gulf Asian relations. He hailed the level of cooperation between the universities and institutes in the two countries, which resulted in many agreements that would contribute to enhancing academic cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to French President Emmanuel Macron, marking the victory of the French national team in the 2018 World Cup Finals, which ended in Russia yesterday evening. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations and praised the performance of the French national team, wishing them success in upcoming championships and competitions. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to Russian President Vladimir Putin on the occasion of his country's success in organizing the 2018 World Cup. He expressed his admiration for the successful organization, which comes as a result of the great efforts exerted by Russia. The Crown Prince wished the Russian President continued success and the Russian people for the development and progress. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohamed Mtawa, is leading Bahrain's delegation at the UN High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, which begins today in New York. The delegation will present Bahrain's first voluntary report on the Sustainable Development Goal 2030, which will focus on reviewing Bahrain's achievements in the field of sustainable development and its efforts to integrate the SDGs into the Government Action Pro Program. The delegation will also stage three workshops to shed light on Bahrain's achievements in the field of sustainable development to benefit the international community, including providing adequate housing for citizens, labor market reform policies, and Temkin support for national labor. Bahrain's participation in the Global Forum reflects the royal keenness to promote international efforts in the field of sustainable development. Bahrain has launched a series of landmark initiatives in support of UN efforts to promote SDGs in the world. These included the King Hamad Youth Empowerment Award, which reflects Bahrain's keenness to promote youth in the world. The list also includes the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education. Meanwhile, representative of the United Nations Development Program, Emil Shargawi, confirmed the UN's support of the Kingdom of Bahrain's journey in reinforcing sustainable development and affirmed that many countries look up to Bahrain to benefit from its experience. Bahrain has hosted many events for the Sustainable Development Goals. One of, one of those important events was in 2015 when Bahrain hosted the Arab Forum for Sustainable Development to contribute with ideas and suggestions to the Sustainable Development Goals that were presented in the General Assembly in September 2015. So it's, not, uh, it's a very pleasant occasion to be here in the United Nations uh, where Bahrain is presenting its voluntary national report in, during the high-level political forum on SDGs. It's a journey that started with aligning the government action plan to the, to the 17 sustainable development goals, a journey that started with looking at some of the achievement of the sustainable development goals, some of the gaps and some of the challenges that face ahead. We in the United Nations are very proud to partner with Bahrain in supporting it throughout this journey. We have supported them by bringing them the technical assistance needed to formulate such a report, to look at some of their policies, development policies that affect the prosperity of a citizen, look at some of the opportunities that Bahrain can partner with the international community. The United Nations has signed a strategic partnership framework with Bahrain in October 2017 to allow access 
to knowledge, expertise, and information. Through the whole preparation phase, we have presented the guidelines of producing the Voluntary National Report. Bahrain has taken these guidelines very seriously to come up with the report by having consultations with civil society in Bahrain, with the private sector, with academia and parliament, all to show that the interest of all is its citizen and the residents in Bahrain. So here we are here to listen to what Bahrain has achieved, what Bahrain plans to do, and what are some of the challenges that Bahrain will need to continue and address in the next period. Sustainable Development Goals provide an excellent framework to focus its development with targets and indicators that are measured to be able to evaluate later on the impact of such development. Such a development that will enable the youth of Bahrain, the women of Bahrain, the elderly of Bahrain, so nobody is left behind. And that is the essence of the Sustainable Development Goals. A journey that will take us until 2030, a journey that Bahrain has taken very seriously. And we'd like to congratulate the leadership of Bahrain and the leadership of His Excellency Minister Motawa for leading the National Information Committee that is responsible for implementing the Sustainable Development Goals and for the promises that they have, the government has done to incorporate the applicable goals and targets and indicators in the next government action plan covering 219 to 22.